Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys. We are going to be reviewing the game between Celta Vigo and Barcelona live from Balaidos. Could we continue our unbeaten streak in the league? The answer to that is a conclusive yes. And I say conclusive, although at the end it did get a very, very nervy game. But I have to say guys, in general, looking at this one and being as objective as possibly can, because a lot of people maybe who've joined me very recently on the channel will probably think that I'm going to come into this video now and be very negative, say we could have done this, we could have done that, it wasn't perfect. And I just want to say right now, I do not expect perfection from every single game. That is not possible in football. It's not even possible in life. And what we saw today was Ernesto Valverde giving some players who are on the fringes of the squad a chance to play in a game. And I just think this is even more proof that we should have done it earlier. We should should have done this at home against Leganes because it was the kind of game today that wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It wasn't always brilliant out there. We had our moments. There was times out there today they looked like you know they'd never played together in their entire careers, which is basically what happened. But at the same time, they got the job done. That is effectively what they went out there today and did. We rested nearly every single first team player who's going to play in the cup final, and now we're fresh, we're ready to go, we've got away with it, and we've come through the game. And it just makes me think. Why on earth haven't we seen this sooner? Because the guys out there, they're not bad players. You've got players out there today who played well, who took their chance. There was players out there today who maybe didn't quite do as well as they could have done, but maybe as the season had gone on, if we'd have seen them a bit more often, if they'd have got a bit more confidence throughout the season, maybe this could have been a very, very good group of players who could have mucked in and really provided us with some important depth. But the problem is, Valverde have neglected these players right throughout the season. We haven't seen enough of them often enough. It's as simple as that. We haven't seen this kind of rotation when we've really, really needed it in the last few weeks. And like I say, we went out there today. I think the first 15 minutes of the game was very, very refreshing indeed. You know, you look at Ter Stegen and goal. He's the only player probably who's going to play in that cup final. Maybe Coutinho, maybe Dembele. But Ter Stegen was the man that started in goal. The Barcelona captain. Lucas Digne at left back. I thought he was one of the ones maybe who didn't have a great game. I don't think he offered a great deal down the left-hand side. Wouldn't be a bit surprised to see him leave in the summer. Vermaelen and Yeri Mina, at times, both of them played very well. They made good interceptions, they made good tackles. At times, like I say, it looked like they've never ever played together, which is absolutely true. They're not somebody who know each other inside out. They don't really understand each other's games. At times, one of them would step out, one of them would drop in. They weren't really on the same wavelength, and we saw that throughout the game, but that's to be expected. I thought Semedo was good down the right-hand side. He got an assist for the goal. He was really good, you know, getting down that side, moving into space, as we've seen in the last few weeks. I think Gomez in midfield, he gave away the ball a few times, he got caught in possession, but overall he kept things ticking over in there. Denny Suarez going forward was very effective, he was very close to scoring once or twice, he had some good moments in and around the box. A few times defensively and in terms of his positional game, he got caught out. Celta Vigo, as the game went on, pressed him and pressed him, he did lose the ball a bit too many times. But at the same time, it's all part of the learning experience. I actually think Coutinho would have been more suited dropping into that midfield role with Denny Suarez. Suarez instead then on that left hand side but Valverde left it as it was he left Denis on for the entire 90 you've got Paulinho then in the other midfield role who made some good forward runs getting into the box like we know that Paulinho can probably very unlucky to be fair not to get the goal it looks like Paco Alcacer has done a Harry Kane and just about stolen in and he's going to claim that one Dembele from the right I'm going to come on to his goal in a minute but he wasn't maybe as involved right throughout the game as he would have liked but he was decisive in the big moments when he got his chance for his goal he he certainly took it. Coutinho was a, set, was a head and shoulders above everyone else. I thought he was absolutely brilliant once again, just like he was against Valencia. Whenever he was involved, he was doing something productive. He was looking to go forward, looking to be positive. And Paco Alcacer, I don't think, was very effective up front. He made some good runs. He worked hard, of course he did, but he maybe wasn't exactly what we needed. But like I say, guys, these are the fringe players here getting a chance to play. And in the end, they got a 2 all draw against Celta Vigo. Yes, you know, Lionel Messi came off the bench. He made a big impact. He was very very key in the second goal. But at the same time, for around 50 minutes of this game, it was very even between the two sides. We weren't fantastic, but there was nothing to really be too sad about today in terms of the performance. The only problem was, once we got to about 70 minutes, these players out here, who had hardly played right throughout the season, they were fresh in that opening half. They really, really were. And you saw that, the way it was entertaining, the way we were good going forward, the way in some ways we were most exciting we have been in weeks. But as the game went on, you could see these guys, they were feeling it. They hardly played any minutes all season long. And then you start feeling it in your legs. You start 
feeling tired because they simply haven't been used to being out on the pitch. So as the game went on, it got more and more difficult. Obviously, Sergio Roberto coming off the bench, unfortunately, went and got himself sent off. It was not really a fault of his own. He was tracking Aspas. He was trying to chase back and get the right side of him. In the end, he actually took one for the team. He was actually very noble in what he did. He brought down Iago Aspas just before he got to the penalty area. It was a professional foul. He did everything he possibly could to stop him scoring a goal. But obviously, in the end, he did see himself get sent off. But what he won't do now, he will not miss the Copa del Rey final. He will not miss El Clasico. It will be the match against Deportivo La Coruña that Sergi Roberto misses due to that suspension. But overall, guys, like I say, it wasn't fantastic, but it was quite refreshing in some ways to sit down today, watch a different group of players. It was exciting. They were trying to prove themselves, and you've got to give them credit for that. Finally, we saw some rotation from Valverde, and finally, we saw Usman Dembele from the start, and he showed exactly what he was capable of with that fantastic flash of brilliance with the goal. He took it fantastically. It was a quick break. Coutinho was at the very heart of it. He got the ball. He was driving at Celta Vigo. He plays it to Paco Alcacer, and clearly here, we've got the numerical advantage. Alcacer just about gets it out of his feet into the path of Dembele. Now, Dembele, maybe if he wasn't feeling confident, he could have left it for Coutinho, but fair play, Dembele takes it on. He takes the responsibility. He drives it very, very hard, accurately, with his left foot across the goalkeeper on the volley. Fantastic finish. I was so, so happy for him, and not only with a goal, but also with the goal celebrations. Dembele then ran over to the touchline with Coutinho. They were clearly very happy, both of them, and then the entire bench on their feet, together as one, getting that confidence going. There was a really good feeling, and I'm generally very, very happy that Usman Dembele has got his goal today, and that should give him some confidence. That's what he can do. We're going to be seeing more and more of that as we see Dembele more often. He's going to be more involved. He's going to be more confident. He's going to be more fresh, but that was just a sign, and a very good one, just like we saw against Chelsea. That was with his right foot against Chelsea, a phenomenal finish across Courtois, this time against Celta, a left-footed volley, and that was brilliant too. So Dembele on both sides can do it all, and encouraging signs tonight. And our second goal, like I say, it was in part down to the fact that Lionel Messi did come off the bench on the 60th minute mark. I was very surprised actually to see that it was Felipe Coutinho who was going off. That's Valencia now where he was brilliant, got his two assists, and then he was taken off by Valverde. Tonight he was looking good again, he was involved in everything, again taken off for the game is over. I would say that strongly suggests that he is going to be in the team on Saturday against Sevilla, but we are going to have to wait and see what that cup final team is from Valverde. But like I was saying, you know, it was Messi who came on, and as soon as he came on, it's incredible really. We know what Messi can do, we know how good he is, we know how influential he is, but when he came off the bench, and when he comes off the bench, you see it so much more clearly. Everything changes. The whole dynamic of the game changes in favour of the man who makes everything happen. He came on, and suddenly, he was the hub of everything good. Everything was going through Messi, he was in the centre, he was receiving balls, he was looking confident, he was looking a lot of the time out to that left-hand side. He wanted more runs from Lucas Digne, but he wasn't quite providing them. Then he looked to the right, he found Nelson Semedo, there were some good runs there being made by Semedo. Messi really involved in that second goal, just taking the space away, making sure that Celta Vigo were coming and marking him. Space then opened up for Paulinho, running into the box, gets on the end of that Semedo cross, and like I say, it's a very dubious goal right now, whether it's Paulinho's or whether it's Paco Alcatraz, who was running in, and I think in some ways, I don't think he stole it from Paulinho, I think he was just making sure that it went into the back of the net, and that was a big goal. And I have to say as well, Celta Vigo a few times, they did break through our defence, like I say, Mina, Vermaelen, they're not used to playing, they're not used to playing with each other, there's a bit of rustiness there, Mina, of course, still very, very new on the Barcelona scene. But I have to say, the equalising goal from Celta Vigo was very, very suspect indeed. Obviously, it was a mistake initially from Marc-Andre Ter Stegen, the ball comes across the box, he fumbles it then, onto Iago Aspas, and it looks like Aspas then just put it in. But on the replay, you can clearly see Aspas does use, and it does come off, his hand when it goes into the net. So potentially, that could have been handball there and ruled out for Celta Vigo. So maybe on the night, it could have been even better for us. But I would actually say, on the balance of play, the two teams going at it tonight, and Zoué's team played some very, very nice football at times. It was probably a deserved result on the night. Barcelona 2, Celta Vigo 2. And just a quick word on Ter Stegen. He might have made that mistake for the Celta Vigo goal. But apart from that, he was absolutely sensitive 
sensational. He was called into action far too many times, but every time he was, apart from that one, he made some really, really good saves to deny the likes of Aspas, to deny, you know, Gomez as well. Really, really impressive from him tonight, as he has been, let's face it, all season long. But like I say, guys, in summary for this game, it was a game where we heavily rotated. It happened too late, but we can see the benefits here of rotating your team, giving the other players a chance, giving the fringe players the opportunity to go and prove themselves, because you can't really deny tonight the hunger on that pitch from those players, especially in the first half when they were very, very fresh. They wanted to come out tonight and make an impression. They were exciting to watch in the first half. We played some good football. We played some attacking football. And that's effectively what we want to be seeing from Barcelona. So although there was holes in the defence, there was a few problems in the result. We conceded two goals. Going into that Copa del Rey final, you've got Suarez, who should be much fresher. Busquets, who should be much fresher. Iniesta as well, who's got a vital rest tonight. We should see a big improvement in the performance on Saturday, just in time to take on Sevilla in that Copa del Rey final. So leave your thoughts down below, guys, on tonight's game. Who do you think impressed you from the guys that came in? Who deserves maybe to get a place in that team for the Cup final? Let me know all your thoughts down below, guys. I will be seeing you in the coming days with more videos. But until then, as always, Vasca El Barça. <laughs>